Welcome to the Reality Revolution. Today we're returning to Anthony Norvell. We've covered Anthony Norvell from a variety of amazing books and teachings. The majority of them have been around prosperity and abundance thinking. Today I have something a little different. This comes from a fascinating book, The Amazing Secrets of the Mystic East by Anthony Norvell. It has a chapter on opening your psychic third eye, which carries some really interesting affirmations and testimonies that I thought you might find interesting. Anthony Norvell was an amazing post new thought teacher that taught the law of attraction and a variety of techniques that are very powerful. His affirmations are profound and I continue to learn more and more as I read from him. He kind of carries that old Parker publishing style, which had a unique format and way of writing and teaching. Open your psychic third eye. See into the invisible world of psychic phenomena. There are many forms of psychic phenomena which you may use to shape your future destiny. In mysticism, the ancients in India, Tibet, China, and Egypt taught that every person possesses the power of prophecy and that everyone can develop the psychic third eye to have constant intuitive guidance in every situation of life. In this chapter, you will be shown how to develop and use this natural psychic gift to avoid life's misfortunes and tragedies. You can receive daily guidance from your higher psychic mind centers so that you will do the right thing at the right time. You can train this higher psychic mind to reveal for you the hidden secrets behind life. You can begin to read people and know their secret innermost thoughts and motivations. You can know your future because this higher psychic mind gives you a preview of that future and then automatically guides you to its complete fulfillment. For example, you may sit in psychic reverie and have the intuitive guidance to take a certain form of action without knowing consciously why you're doing it. As a result of that action, you will be guided to fulfilling some aspect of your future destiny. This is indirectly the result of your psychic guidance. Testimony Jenny L. attracted her soulmate through psychic power. Jenny L. was a student in mysticism in our Carnegie Hall classes some years ago. She worked as a secretary, and yet she did not feel completely satisfied doing that work. She felt she would be happy as an artist. As she had developed her psychic third eye, she projected this dream and also the romantic vision that she would meet her ideal soulmate and find happiness in marriage. One day, while coming to Carnegie Hall, Jenny passed by the Art Students League, which is a short distance away. She stopped to look at the students' work in the windows, and some compelling urge caused her to go in and inquire about taking an evening course in painting and drawing. As she was motivated by her psychic mind, Jenny could not know the real reason for attending these classes in art, but her higher mind knew the hidden mosaic of her life and impelled her to study art. Jenny, by her own admission, never felt she would be a great artist, but she enrolled in the classes and enjoyed the hobby. It so happened that one of the instructors at the Art Students League was a good-looking young man who had been assigned to Jenny's class. Within a short time, he began to show an unusual interest in Jenny's work, and they were soon dating. They had so much in common that Jenny found herself falling in love with him, and the young man responded immediately. Now, the hidden pattern of destiny began to reveal itself to Jenny. Her psychic mind centers had known in some mysterious fashion that she would find fulfillment in love and marriage through her desire to study art. She was motivated to enroll in the art classes so she could meet her perfect soulmate. Later, after they had married, Jenny introduced the young man to me and I explained to her now she had been really guided by her psychic centers to meeting her future husband. As this event could have occurred in dozens of different ways, it remained for her higher psychic mind 
to choose the one path that would lead Jenny to the finding of her soulmate, which happened to be through a study of art. Remove negative cloud banks to have perfect psychic vision. Your higher psychic mind centers will create the perfect destiny for you if you do not let the cloud banks of negativity interfere with the flow of power from the cosmic mind of God. Before you begin to develop your own higher psychic powers, sit in a meditation session of about half an hour or so. Do the following mental exercises to remove the cloud banks of fear, worry, hate, greed, selfishness, and animalism from your psychic mind centers. Repeat this dynamic psychic clearing meditation, reading it to yourself several times. Do this every day until you find that your psychic centers are no longer clouded and they begin to function perfectly. I now direct my higher mind to rid my psychic centers of all negative thoughts of every kind. I overcome fear and worry by supplanting them with faith and confidence that a higher spiritual power can guide and protect me. I remove hate and supplant it with the divine emotion of love. I overcome tendencies to greed, selfishness, and animalism by attuning my higher mind to the God mind in the universe. I am yoked to God's cosmic intelligence, and He guides me every day of my life. How to open the mystic third eye for psychic vision. When your psychic centers are cleared of these cloud banks of negative emotions, you are ready to sit in daily development session for achieving psychic phenomena. Sit quietly in meditation where you will not be disturbed for at least one hour and follow these instructions. Close your physical eyes as you do these psychic exercises. One, direct your concentration to the forefront of your brain where the psychic third eye is located. Try to visualize this as an actual eye that has the power of inner vision. Two, now close your physical eyes and breathe deeply to the count of four. Hold the breath to the count of four and then release it. Three, your inhaled breath is the pranic life force called celestial fire by the mystics of the Far East. It is this stream of pranic life energy that flows to your psychic centers opening the third eye and causing it to have psychic visions. Do this breathing about five times, holding the breath each time to the count of four before you release it. Four. Now, to open this psychic center, visualize a small screen inside your forehead, very much like your TV screen. For practice sessions, you will now learn how to read your psychic projections on this mental psychic screen. 5. Now you will ask this higher psychic mind for clairvoyant vision to prophesy the events of your future. 6. Consciously project some definite picture forms on this psychic screen, such as your future dream home. You can mentally write on your mental screen the words, My dream home. Flash that sentence onto the psychic screen, just as though you were watching a neon light flashing a message on a visible sign. You can make the color gold, blue, pink, white, or any color you choose. 7. You can now ask this question of your psychic mind. Show me a picture of my future dream home and guide me to finding the perfect home that I desire. 8. As you sit in the silence with your eyes closed, concentrate all your thoughts onto that psychic screen within your own mind. As you hold your thoughts on your dream home, you will begin to get flashes of pictures of homes that you may have seen in the past. As your psychic mind centers are imprinted by your own secret dreams and desires, it is natural that you will find projected on your psychic screen the exact prototype of the home you wish to live in. Testimony Psychic power helped Mr. and Mrs. T.R find their dream home. An example of how this psychic mind works to direct us to the fulfillment of destiny is that of a couple I once knew who studied these laws of psychic phenomena with me in classes. 
Mr. and Mrs. T.R., had been married for two years and already had one child, so they wanted to move into larger quarters. They sat in daily psychic development sessions using the above method of psychic projection for their dream home. They both had the same vision of a home with three bedrooms, a large yard for children located near a school. They pictured it already furnished as they had money for a down payment, but not enough to completely furnish such a home. One night, they attended a church social where they were introduced to a middle-aged couple. The husband was a retired doctor and they mentioned during the course of conversation that their three children were married and they wanted to sell their home and move to Fort Lauderdale in Florida where one of their children lived with his growing family. Instantly, Mr. and Mrs. T.R. were interested and felt that in some mysterious way they were being guided to the fulfillment of their psychic vision for their perfect dream home. They made an appointment to look at the house and to their delight. It was exactly as they had projected their vision of their dream home. It was even furnished in modern furniture and the yard had a fence around it as they had also projected. The wonderful thing about this entire psychic revelation was that the doctor and his wife had plenty of money. They owned the home outright and did not require a huge down payment. Mr. and Mrs. T.R. were able to move in right after escrow was closed and their psychic dream was fulfilled perfectly. How to obtain large sums of money through psychic guidance. 1. You can also use psychic phenomena to guide you in obtaining large sums of money to meet your future requirements and pay your present bills. When you go into psychic reverie, which is called daydreaming by some, hold the sum of money that you wish to attract in your mind's eye. This can be $1,000 for current needs or it may be $5,000 or $10,000 that you require for the year's extra expenses or for purchasing a car or household furnishings. You can also project a larger sum such as $100,000 or $500,000 or even a million dollars for future financial security. Here's how you project any of these amounts to your higher psychic mind centers. 2. You can start out asking your psychic mind for smaller sums of money like $100 or $500 so as to build your faith in larger sums gradually. Sit with your eyes closed. Do the breathing and mental projection of your psychic screen. But now instead of seeing houses or cars or other objects, mentally project the sum of money onto the screen. See the $100 or $500 in a flashing neon light. Keep flashing this psychic sign for at least five minutes or until it is fixed firmly in your consciousness. Three. Then you can open your eyes and read the following directions to your psychic mind centers. I ask for the sum of $500 to manifest in my life in the next few days. I need this sum of money for immediate expenses. Guide me to this money to meet my present needs. If it is $500 or $1,000 you require, use the same statement as above, but substitute the figure of $500 or $1,000. Testimony. Rosita E. attracted an expensive color TV set. After you've given these instructions to your higher psychic mind, go about your ordinary activities confidently that the money will come. It may come as equivalents rather than cash. One woman, Rosita E., asked her higher mind for $500 so she could buy a color TV set. The money did not come, but the next door neighbor was moving from New York to Kentucky. She had a large color TV that she did not want to move. So she offered it to this woman for only $100. It was in perfect condition and one of the expensive models that cost about $800. Therefore, Rosita actually received more than $500 she was asking for. Find lost objects with psychic power. One, your higher psychic mind can often reveal the location of lost or hidden objects. If you lose a valuable piece of jewelry, Sit in meditation and project to this higher mind, show me where my ring is. Sit in the stillness for a few moments, repeating the question, and then quietly go about your everyday activities. 
generally within a short time you will automatically be guided to where the lost object is. Testimony Sybil S. was guided to finding her lost ring. Sybil S. had taken off her engagement ring and mislaid it. She was frantic, not because of the value of the diamond, but because of the sentiment attached to the ring. She searched everywhere frantically and could not find it. Then she remembered that in a class on psychic development, I had to go into psychic reverie and ask where the lost object was, and then to relax and go about one's usual activities. Sybil did this, and a short time later, as she was about to empty a bag of trash that was near the sink in the kitchen, she suddenly saw a bright object glisten in the bag and looked inside. There, she found her diamond ring. She had removed it, set it on the kitchen sink, just above the paper bag, and it had been nudged into the bag. As she was now sensitively attuned to her higher psychic mind, it chose the method for revealing the lost object. 2. To find hidden treasures, gold, oil, water, or other things in the soil, there is a method called dowsing, which has been used with great success by many people. They use a dowsing rod which begins to tremble when it is over a location of something valuable. Your higher psychic mind can be attuned like a dowsing rod, so before you go in search of treasures or hidden springs of water, you can sit in the stillness and say to this psychic mind, I wish to locate valuables in the earth. Guide me to the location of these hidden treasures. Testimony Fred J was guided to an abandoned mine through psychic power. Fred J went out to an old abandoned gold mine in Nevada, having studied psychic development in our classes. He walked over the area where the mine had been worked years before and asked the question, is there more gold hidden here? He got such a positive feeling that he entered the old mine and began to dig in a certain location. He finally broke through a thin wall and discovered a vein of gold that eventually brought him more than $35,000. If he had not sensitively attuned his mind to the finding of this treasure, he would never have been led by his psychic mind to that particular gold mine. 3. After you begin to ask your psychic mind for sums of money, begin to keep books on the various things that come to you which might be equivalents of money such as gifts, theater tickets, clothing, furniture, and other things of value. Testimony Bernice E. projected a valuable mink coat. Bernice E. lived in New York where winters can be very severe. She projected she wanted $1,000 to buy a fur coat. Within two weeks, her psychic mind centers brought her in contact with a wealthy woman for whom Bernice occasionally did catering work when she entertained at home. It was a miserable, snowy night. And as Bernice was about to put on her shabby cloth coat, the woman remarked, Why, that coat won't keep you warm in such a storm. She paused a moment and then said, Wait a moment. She went into her bedroom and returned with a beautiful black mink coat that must have cost several thousand dollars. She said to Bernice, My husband just gave me a brand new mink coat and I want you to have this one as I have no further use for it. 4. The art of precognition or knowing the future can be developed as a psychic gift. You can sit in psychic reverie and ask that your higher mind reveal certain events in your future. These events may come as pictures shown on your mental screen. Or you may have a prophetic dream in which you will see yourself acting out your life story in the future. Testimony Leela O. warned of an airplane crash. Lilo had a strange psychic dream which she could not understand at that time. She saw a bright red airplane circling in the sky against a brilliant blue background. Suddenly the engine stopped and the plane began to fall to the earth. At that moment she glanced at the clock on the airport tower and it said two o'clock. She awakened from the dream and was puzzled as to its meaning. A few weeks later she took her friend Dorothy to the airport for a flight to Chicago as they stood waiting to board the plane, they heard the sound of a plane engine that was plainly in distress. Leela looked up and there was a bright red plane against a cerulean blue sky falling to earth. 
It crashed, killing the pilot and his passenger. Leela had been given a psychic premonition of that event through her prophetic dream weeks before. 5. When you ask your higher psychic mind for guidance or revelations for your future, do not expect an answer immediately, as your conscious mind is constantly intruding its own opinions for your evaluation. You must wait until such time as your conscious mind is still or is occupied with other matters. It is then that your psychic mind will often send you the answers to your questions or the solutions to your problems. Make it a point to sit for a few moments in psychic reverie, ask your questions, and then quietly go about your everyday activities. Suddenly, you will be compelled to do certain things that could lead you to finding of the solution to a problem or the answer to some baffling question. Use psychic reverie for automatic creative gifts and talents. 1. You can achieve automatic writing, speaking, or painting by sitting in psychic reverie and asking for the particular gift you wish to develop. Say to this higher mind, I wish to become an artist or a writer, inventor, composer, or speaker, and then you can add, show me how to develop my gifts in this direction. You will find yourself being guided to the course of study you need or a person who will inspire you to develop the gift or talent that you possess. Your higher psychic mind knows if you have the ability to do the creative work you ask for, and if you do not have, you will find that there is no response from this higher mind center. How to use clairaudience to hear psychic messages. 2. Clairaudience means to hear with an inner ear when the voice of the spirit speaks to you. Many times people have actually heard a guiding voice like Joan of Arc did when she had her psychic revelation that she was to lead the armies of France to victory. Sometimes the voice comes in an intuitive way, speaking to your higher mind as an impulse to do certain things at a certain time. This then becomes the voice of the spirit and it often speaks to you naturally through your imagination or through your own conscious mind when you are in stillness. 3. If you wish this higher psychic power to manifest through you in automatic writing, sit still. Sit in stillness with a pen and paper before you. Ask this higher mind to give you some specific information, such as an article for publication or the beginning of a story or novel. Do not try to force the pen to write, but try to attune your mind to the higher psychic mind so you can receive its divine inspiration when it comes through. If you do this daily, you will soon acquire a sensitivity to its promptings and you will begin to write without effort. Most great authors receive their communications from this higher cosmic mind that works through their own psychic mind centers. This art is difficult to develop, but it can be done. You can also use it for automatic speaking and for painting or other artwork. Ask questions of your psychic mind and receive right answers. 4. Another way by which you can develop your psychic mind centers is by sitting in quiet meditation and simply asking your higher mind to guide you. You can write down questions like this and then take them into your developing sessions and ask that they be answered by your psychic mind. Can I trust this person in a business venture? Should I quit my job and seek another one? Where should I move? To California? Florida? Or stay where I am? How can I meet my true soulmate? Should I buy this house at this time? Is it safe to take this trip? Is my mate being true to me? Should I go into my own business and what kind? How can I solve this problem in my life? Many times when you submit questions to the higher psychic mind, the answer does not come during the waking hours. It may come as a vision while you sleep. These clairvoyant dreams are often symbolic and can point out things you need to know. Testimony Richard W. was guided to the right stock through a dream. Richard W. was a small investor in the stock market. He asked the question, should I invest in the stock market now? A few nights later, he had a vivid dream in which he saw a white eagle soaring against a bright blue sky. 
He awakened from his dream and then recalled that in one of my classes on mysticism I had mentioned that the sign of Scorpio had two symbols. One was that of a stinging scorpion, the other was that of an eagle. He happened to be a Scorpio and this dream seemed to be trying to tell him something he told me later. The following day, while going over a list of stocks, he noticed one called White Eagle, which was at an all-time low of about $1 a share. On blind faith, he bought 5,000 shares of the stock and held it for some time. The stock finally went to $7 a share and Richard sold it, making a very nice profit. Testimony, Sandra V. found a $15,000 bonanza. Another instance in which a clairvoyant dream came to a woman who desperately needed money was that of Sandra V, whose mother had died. There was heavy funeral expenses, and as Sandra's father had died some years before and she was alone, she asked her higher psychic mind how she could obtain money to meet all her bills and give her security until she could get a job. A few nights later, she had a vivid dream in which her mother came to her, just as she had been in life, and said, I know you're terribly worried because there is no money, but I have saved quite a little and you will find it in that old dresser that is stored in the basement. When Sandra awakened, it seemed that she could still hear her mother's voice ringing in her ears. She went to the old dresser and searched it. There in a hidden compartment she found a big wad of old bills that totaled $15,000. Many times the souls of those who have departed are able to relay a message to those of us left on earth. We have become sensitively attuned to this cosmic spirit behind the universe. This type of telepathic communication between the departed loved ones and those on earth becomes possible. Mystomatic Pointers 1. You are more closely attuned to people who are emotionally close to you, like your mother or father, your husband or wife. You can tune in on them psychically through mental telepathy when you wish to receive important information about them. 2. When trying to reach a person psychically, hold the face of the person in your mind or look at a picture of that person and then talk to them just as if they were there in person. 3. Do not try to receive psychic messages when mentally disturbed. Sit quietly until your mind is calm and then project your thoughts. 4. Sometimes the answer to one of your questions will come through while you're busy doing something else. It will seem like your own mind speaking, so be aware of this and listen to that still, small voice. 5. Clairvoyance and clairaudience can often come to you through dreams, so jot down any unusual dreams. 6. A message will often come to you through a book or by running your finger down the Bible. You'll be caused to stop on the line that fits your needs. 7. Psychic guidance may sometimes come to you through imagination, a flash of a picture or a name, or a sentence will be revealed by your higher psychic mind through your imagination. 8. Distance is no barrier to sending psychic messages. You can reach people who are thousands of miles distant by persistently calling the name and sending your message. 9. Look for answers to your needs through your psychic dreams or visions that may come while sitting in meditation. And this concludes this chapter from The Amazing Secrets of the Mystic East by Anthony Norvell. Open wide your psychic third eye. See into the invisible world of psychic phenomena. Now, I do want to clarify that he is not necessarily in this entire chapter talking about opening the chakra of the third eye. He is talking about awakening your psychic awareness. Oftentimes, Norvell would use language that was similar and talk about things like the third eye. But the key point that he's saying is that you have this intuitive power that you can access by accessing your higher psychic mind. In meditation, you can ask questions and tune into this higher psychic mind and you will get answers. It works every time. Sometimes it takes time, but it works every time. There's some great testimonials here on how to find your soulmate, how to invest in the stock market. All of these testimonials are true, and I'd love to hear your testimonies. Sit in meditation and project what it is that you want. And 
It may be a large sum of money or a new car or a new home, whatever that is. And then allow your intuitive guidance to move you through into the realization of what it is that you want. Some great affirmations that you can use here on a regular basis that should guide you. The key is that you order yourself or command yourself to direct your higher mind, to rid your psychic centers of all negative thoughts, to clear the cloud banks, to have that perfect psychic vision, and then sit in meditation. He goes beyond just visualization and recommends using letters and words in your vision, such as new dream home in neon lights. This is an effective technique. If you're somebody that struggles with visualizing scenarios and experiences, then try this. Just simply start projecting words in your mind and see what happens. You're always sort of experimenting when you do these things. We're hearing testimonials, but it's going to be ultimately up to you and how you use this and what works for you. Take these testimonials and try to apply it uniquely to yourself. If you lose an object, for instance, that's my favorite way of using this. Just sit in stillness, relax so that your brain waves relax and you're in that alpha or theta state. And then just ask, show me where my remote control is or show me where my keys are. A lot of times I rush around when I am missing or losing something. And I have found that if I really can't find it and I've looked in all the places, just sit down, relax, and then I'll ask myself, where is my keys? And then I'll just let it go. And then I will find it somehow, some way. It might not be a revelation. I just might be guided in my movements to find that thing. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to awakening your psychic phenomena. There's so many amazing techniques and things that you can do to apply this. And it is really the key to riches. There are so many wonderful opportunities and amazing ways for you to become wealthy that are open to you once you open your third eye in the way that he's discussing when you open that psychic center within your brain that is aware of what is happening in the universe and the future that connection to the universal mind so please share your testimonials we have some here and if you bring anything from this episode I want it to be that the answers to all that you need are within. Ask the questions to get the answers and utilize your connection to your higher mind centers to project what it is that you want in the world. It's that simple. Of course, we say that every day, but this also gives you the emphasis that you can truly do this from other testimonials and look through the comments. People are using these techniques and it is working. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. <laughs>